Oh, you sound marvelous, Betty. <laughs> well, don't trip over the court, please. Really. He's got it. Now. I got it. Okay. You go. Well, I just want to say uh -oh. that I dreaded this having this birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to admit, and, and I don't feel that number. <laughs> she won't say it. She will not say it. I feel I, I, that number is the new 50, Granny. That number? Yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> You'd be 50 just like me. I really don't feel that age. Uh, but if having a group like this of my dear friends that I love so much being here to help me celebrate <clears throat> that birthday. I just can't say enough um, because all of y'all mean so much to me from long ago. And I might say one thing that might be kind of funny. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, that Ruby, Ruby Lee brought it to my kitchen uh -huh. today, and it's always been something that I remember so well. Uh, her sister and and uh, Ruby and her sister and me, we used to all play together. But their uh, granddaddy had had some. Uh, Rabbits. He raised rabbits. Rabbits. And he had rabbit hutches. He had about, oh, I don't know, six, five, six rabbit hutches. And eventually, sometime or another, he got rid of the rabbits. So we decided we was going to go out there and clean out those rabbit hutches and make playhouses out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hotels. 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 <laughs> so we each had... We each had our own little uh, hutch that we was our, our home, and that's where we would play at. We'd get out and go see each other sometimes. But anyway, we had a, we had a ball at that in those little hutches, and she reminded me of it today. <laughs> but it's something that I'll always remember. Betty, um, I didn't want to say anything about it because I didn't want to know how poor we were. <laughs> That's another thing. One time when I was working for Jimmy New, which I think they have already left. Mm -hmm. One time when I was working for him, I had a lady come in uh, that we had built her house. And um, she came in the office one day, and I knew her because she had lived up the street from me on Wood Avenue all those years. And so she came in there one day, and we got to talking. She said, you know, you remember all those years and all, what happened you that we were all so poor? <laughs> and I said, I don't remember being poor. <laughs> I said, I wasn't poor. Uh, you know, and I still say, I had all I wanted to eat. I had a loving mother and father that raised me. I had a candy store across the street from me, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, I didn't. I had no idea that I was poor. Brother, I really didn't. And a brother, huh? And a brother beat I did not beat my brother. I he hit me in the head with a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> Little brother to your name. I hate to say this, but he's five years younger than me. Wow, Uncle Bobby, you're only three years older than me. We were, I was sitting at the, at the radio listening to a ball game with my daddy, and he just walks over to the machine, pulls a drawer out of the mama's sewing machine. And whacked me in the head. <laughs> Is that so what happened? Y'all have noticed any real problems with me. That's probably what I said. I will say this. You did not hurt her. Ah. Right. I, knew her to, I knew her to hit her. <laughs> well, that's all I got to say. All right. Except I love you all. We love you.
Thank you.